Google's smart contact lenses are one step closer to reality. We'll have to blink twice to pair with Bluetooth. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Google's plans for smart contact lens are starting to come into focus. Google announced it's partnering with the contact lens maker Alcon, which is owned by the Swiss pharmaceutical company Novartis. Financial details were not provided. Google first revealed its plans to create smart contacts back in January. The idea is that there will be these tiny sensors on the lenses that can monitor blood sugar levels in tears, and that can help diabetics. Using the contacts would be an alternative to having to prick your finger to check the blood sugar. Now, readings from the contacts would be sent wirelessly to the user's smartphone. The antenna in the contact is thinner than a human hair, but I hope wearing it won't feel like you have a hair in your eye. A prototype of this lens could be available by early next year. Google also announced another new project. Well, it's not so much a project as it is an internet crime fighting team. The company created an internal task force called Project Zero. Its mission is to scan the web for wrongdoings and bugs in the hope to cut down on cyber attacks. Google says it will work to improve the security of any software that's used by a large number of people, and it will report vulnerabilities so that problems can be quickly fixed. Google engineers have helped discover the heart bleed bug earlier this year. There are a few interesting gadgets popping up this week. Leapfrog, the maker of kids' tablets and apps, now has a TV game console. Leap TV is coming this holiday, and it's an educational game system for kids ages 3 through 7. The remote uses motion controls, and there's this TV-connected camera that tracks your body motion. But it only works with Leap TV games, which each cost $30 when you buy the cartridges, but games are a little cheaper when you download them. The console itself costs $100. $150. If you're looking for a more fashionable way to wear your Fitbit, you can now order Fitbit jewelry. Designer Tori Birch has created snazzy holders for the Fitbit Flex Activity Tracker. There's a gold bracelet for about $200 and a pendant for $175. There are also these silicon bracelets with printed designs and those run for $38 a piece. And now you can set phasers to channel surf. <laughs> ThinkGeek is selling a universal remote control that's designed to be a replica of the Phaser from Star Trek, the original series. It stores up to 36 remote control commands and includes 10 Phaser sounds. It'll beam down to retailers for $150. That's your tech news update. You can get more details on these stories at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.